and welcome to Learn System View in 5 Minutes. This is tutorial 19 on performing quick power and frequency sweep for RF systems. In this tutorial, we will use the same example we have been working on in the last couple of tutorial videos. In the last two videos, we learned about how to set up an RF simulation, how to plot a spectrum at different nodes, uh, which you can see here. We plotted the mixer output, we plotted the output spectrum, and also in one of the tutorial videos, we talked about how to set up the budget simulation, plot the level diagram of our system to see system performance at every node. Now, often there is a need to perform a sweep analysis whereby we may want to sweep input power to look at input versus output power, or we may want to do a frequency sweep to look at the frequency characteristics of our system. There are a couple of ways in system view to perform the sweep analysis. One way is doing a regular sweep by which we can add, add a evaluation and we can add a sweep evaluation. But that has, comes with the overhead of setting up um, you know, variables, defining variables to sweep and then plotting the data. The quickest way to perform a quick uh, you know, uh, sweep on our system design is by going to paths. And remember, we already added one path in, in the budget tutorial video. And with that path, we were doing a normal budget calculations. However, we can have that path as defined as quick sweep path. And once we enable it to quick sweep, we have various options to pick from. So we can go ahead and pick up the compression curve. We can either use the automatic limit to let system view decide your input and output power range, or we can set up our own power range. Like in this case, we will start our sweep from minus 50 dBm go to zero dBm and input frequency of 70 megahertz. When we enable that one path to be swept, we will have input versus output power curve, which we can plot. Similarly, if at the same time, I also want to look at the frequency response, I can add the same path again. And in the second path, I can enable a quick sweep and I could make it as frequency response. And instead of using automatic limit, I will go ahead and define it as 50 megahertz to 90 megahertz with a one megahertz step frequency, or maybe 0.5 megahertz step frequency, depending upon the resolution you are looking at. And also while doing input uh, power sweep, uh, input frequency sweep, we need to define the input power. So in our case, let's go ahead and put it as minus 20 dBm. We click OK, and now we have two paths. One path will give us the power sweep. The second path will give us the frequency sweep. Now we go ahead and simulate. And now, like we learned earlier, to plot any data on the node, we right click, add a new graph, and notice we have a compression curve, and we have power output versus frequency. So let's look at the compression curve first. Once we click compression curve, we can notice the input power from minus 50 to zero dBm and then the corresponding output power at node three. Notice the equation with system view is using to extract the data at the desired node from the bunch of data which will be generated by doing the sweep analysis. And all this function is automatic, so user don't need to remember it. But in case you want to plot your own data at different node, at different power you know, condition, you could remember this uh, syntax here, or you could double click on the graph and simply copy paste this variable info from here and modify it the way you want. So this is how we do input versus output power. Now let's go back to our schematic and we right click, add, and let's add the output, power output versus frequency. And that gives you the frequency characteristics of our system. And you can see all the sweep points um, with a spacing of 0.5 megahertz and the resulting frequency response of our system. So this is as easy as it gets to perform the sweep analysis using the built-in you know, path options inside system view. And you can get all the system characteristics in one shot by using this. In the next tutorial video, we will talk about how to set up your own custom sweeps and how to do multidimensional sweeping in system view. Thanks for watching this tutorial and wish you all the best with your designs.